let's assemble your IV2. First, carefully unbox your bike. Try not to rip the box too enthusiastically, as you'll need it in case you decide to return. After opening the box, start by carefully taking the bike out, removing the packaging material, and checking for any damage. Your Electric 2 is nearly ready to ride, but you'll need to take care of some final things before you can hop on. In the box itself, you'll find the front fender, the wheel, and a toolbox. In the toolbox, you'll find the charger, the pedals, the reflectors, the manual, the battery keys, as well as all the tools you'll need for this assembly. Large accessories such as baskets and carriers usually come in a separate delivery. Make sure to give the manual a good read through first. The manual is your go-to guide covering everything you need to know for a long and happy life with your Valority Electric. Unscrew the bolt on the fender with Allen key 4 and take one rubber washer out. Hold the fender in the right position in the front fork arch and attach the mid part of the fender with the bolt and rubber washers using Allen key 4. Attach the fender brackets by unscrewing the bolts on your front fork endings using Allen key 5. Then reattach them with the fender brackets in place. Before you insert the front wheel, first remove the disc brake pad spacer that's in the brake caliper. Next, unscrew the bolts in the front fork using the two Allen key sixes at the same time and take out the through axle. Insert the front wheel into the front fork with a disc brake in the caliper. Then reattach the bolts and tighten them by rotating with the two Allen key sixes on both sides at the same time. Check the alignment of your disc brake by spinning the wheel. If you hear a grinding sound, loosen the bolts on the brake caliper with Allen key 5 a little. and readjust them by rotating the wheel and firmly gripping the left brake on your handlebar. Don't let go of the grip while tightening the bolts again. When the bolts are secured, you can release your grip. Then check the alignment of your disc brake again by spinning the wheel. You shouldn't hear a grinding sound anymore. Each pedal has a designated side. The left pedal has little stripes on the metal, the right pedal is flat. Install the left pedal with the stripes in a 90 degree angle to the crank by turning it counterclockwise with your hand. Install the right pedal, which is flat, on the right side of the crank by turning it clockwise with your hand. Once the pedals are straight and twisted onto the crank, firmly secure them with wrench 15. Attach the front reflector to the front fork using Allen key 5 with a provided bolt. The rear reflector can be clicked on the middle part of the bracket underneath your saddle. To place the white side of reflectors, look for a wide enough opening in the spokes and firmly slide in the reflector.
Start by loosening the bolt below the saddle using Allen key 5. Then adjust the saddle to hip height while standing next to your bike. You can tighten the bolt using Allen key 5. When the saddle is adjusted correctly, your leg should be slightly bent at the knee when your foot is on the lower pedal. Remove the black valve cap and unscrew the small nut inside the valve to allow airflow. Pump your tyres to a pressure between 3 and 4 bars. After the tyre is inflated, re-tighten the nut and place the cap back on. Then repeat this for the second tyre. If you have a Dutch pump, you can use our provided adapter. Pump until the desired tyre pressure is reached. Before you start riding, don't forget to download the Valerity app. With the app, you can get additional info about your battery status, map your route, and more. Once you've done that, your bike is ready to hit the road. Have fun and let us know if you need any help. If you also purchased an additional accessory for your bike, go ahead and watch our accessories assembly videos.